my way to the town of Ridgeway, Pennsylvania after spending the night camping at New York's Allegheny State Park. To get to Ridgeway, I'll be riding on US Route 219. This highway is very busy with truck and traffic and the shoulders not that wide. My biggest challenge today is to stay focused and not let the incessant traffic noise wear me out. The trucks are slipping by me at high speeds and the noise is very loud and constant. This route I've chosen takes me into the Allegheny National Forest and even though Route 219 is extremely busy, the scenery is top notch. This 517,000 acre national forest is the only one of its kind in the state of Pennsylvania with up to 2,300 feet in elevation. It's situated in the northwestern corner of the state in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Its motto is land of many uses as the U.S. Forest Service attempts to manage its resources while providing access to wood production, watershed and wildlife protection, and recreational opportunities in a sustainable way so as to allow for future generations to enjoy. After taking a short water break, I continue on climbing heading south towards the village of Lance Corners. This climb was significant with a gain of close to 1,500 feet in elevation since leaving the city of Bradford 21 miles behind. <laughs> Woo! What a climb! I was feeling strong so I was pumping it. And then I got to the top I thought. And I see a dip and then another climb. All I have to say is that at least I'm not getting rained on. Because it looked like it was going to be raining today, which means I would have been doing this in the rain. Here's that next hill. They just will not quit. The Appalachians never quit. I eventually reach the top of this huge hill and get ready for a well-deserved downhill. It looks like it's just going to drop and I've just been climbing like five, six miles. And it just looks like it's gonna be legit. A little bit nerve-wracking there. <laughs> Wet pavement, tight shoulder against the guardrail and the rubble strips. I ran over them a few times. That's not a good feeling. And thankfully I have insane rims. My rims are nuts. They're astral radiance. They're bomb-proof. I go through potholes, whatever, rocks, anything, and they're always true. I get back to it and start climbing once again and shortly after a fellow cyclist couple stop on the side of the road to say hello. This meeting could not have been more fortunate for me as my small chain ring had issues and Tom helped me figure it out. Tom stopped to uh, say hello and then my chain fell off the small ring and it's because it's missing screws. He, uh, Tom told me, <laughs> he's like check the screws because I was about to try to bend it back together. Anyways, he told me there's a bike shop coming up and I'm going to go check it out and get it fixed. I think it's not a big deal. Nice, nice to meet you, Tom. Nice Thank to meet you. you too. You're more than welcome. <laughs> oh man, what a coincidence. This guy Tom and his wife stopped because they're cyclists to say hello here on 219, which is really busy. I was worried that they were stopping a, with this kind of traffic. But anyways, uh, when I go off my bike, I, I kind of pedal forwards a little bit to say goodbye. And uh, my chain falls off. I look down at the smaller chain ring, and it's uh, it's looks bent, but it was missing the spacer and a screw, actually two screws. I was about to bend it back 
in shape thinking it was just bent. I had no idea the spacers and screws. Well, I did have an idea because I remember, but I was just so tired, I missed it. And Tom stops me, he's like, no, 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 you're gonna make it worse. He's telling me I need to go to a bike shop, which I will. But now I gotta content with the, the big ring for all this climbing. That's gonna be a challenge. Last year, I wasn't using my small ring in the latter part of my trip after months of conditioning. But right now, I need my smaller ring, especially in these never ending, ending climbing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm getting beat up. Heavy duty headwind. I'm only able to use the big chain ring. 25 more miles after 35 in hills of the beautiful Allegheny National Forest. But I have an idea. I'm missing two together. I'm just gonna take one of them out and uh, stagger it. So there'll be gaps and just be real gentle switching gears. And even though it's been 6,000 miles or so on the same crank and rings without any issues, I notice sometimes I change gears kind of harshly and not all the time but sometimes I do like I just get caught in moments where I'm just like clicking and putting torque on the on the on the pedals and I think that doesn't help. I lost two of the four T31 chainring bolts holding the small chainring to the crank set. The two missing ones were together so I took one out and moved it over so as to stagger them. I also applied thread sealing to the one I moved over and then made sure to tighten both of them. Got to do it. I put all my tools away and ate a cinnamon roll I had bought in Bradford before getting back on the bike and giving this temporary fix a try. Cinnamon roll. I think that's gonna do it, at least for today. They're staggered. So we'll see. Just gotta get the bike back up. I'm moving again. I see a dongle coming up too. So. Let's do it. All right, it's working. I'm on my little ring. <laughs> but I gotta be careful. I gotta really switch gears carefully and, and softly just to make sure I also put some uh, thread lock sealant on the screw that I took out and tightened the other ones I should have taken them out and put some sealant on them but I think I'm okay if I'm just careful changing gears softly I should be able to do 20 miles and figure out where to find a couple of those screws there's no spacers I should have known that too all right Lesson learned. The lesson learned was to get some T31 chainring bolts to keep in my spare parts bag, but for now I needed just two of them to add to the chainring. I'm about to catch a break. This is a village of Lance Corners. And I see rain ahead. <laughs> what a break. Oh, I was wondering when it was gonna rain. I thought 12, but now it's two and it's clearly raining. I see a motorsport shop right here. Maybe they'll have the screws. I'm gonna go ask them. I just uh, stopped at this uh, ATV motorcycle sales and repair. And I believe it was the owner gave me two of the screws for my small ring that he pulled off his bike at home and then brought him to me so I can replace it to him later. So I'm just gonna fix it up real good and keep going. The crew at Myers Motorsports bailed me out. As soon as the owner of the shop figured out my dilemma, he asked me to stay put while he went home to try to find the bolts. He came back soon after and told me he took them off his wife's bicycle, which luckily had the same size ones. I could not have thanked him and the rest of the crew at Myers Motorsports enough. The kindness of people never ceases to amaze me.
Once again, I find myself in a vulnerable spot while bicycle touring and sure enough, wonderful people end up helping me out. On this occasion, both Tom on the side of the road earlier on and then later the crew of Myers Motorsports. Before leaving the shop, I got online, bought the T31 bolts and had them shipped to the shop so the owner could replace them on his wife's bike. I also purchased a superb Myers Motorsports baseball cap I ended up wearing all the way to Nebraska. I'm on a steady low grade decline, 18 miles an hour, just knocking it out. Feels awesome and it's been a while. coming and going so I make sure to keep taking my rain jacket on and off. This allows me to maintain body temperature and comfort by staying as dry as possible. It's too hot to wear the jacket so I'm sweating. I'd rather be sprinkled on because that's all we're getting now than be hot. I got 15 more miles to go with 45 done already. I'm ready to get off this 219 though. Between Lance Corners and Ridgeway, I ride mostly flat miles passing through the towns of Wilcox and Johnsonburg. The truck and traffic slowed down for a few miles, but sure enough, it came back in a fury. I was ready to get off Route 219 and take a breather. The hectic nature of the truck and traffic combined with a tight shoulder rumble strips, and wet pavement made for a difficult and tiring day. Rain's over with. I got clear skies, clean path ahead, another 10 miles to go to get to Ridgeway, and it all feels pretty good. I'm tired, but I feel good. I feel like I'm getting in a groove for sure, doing the 60 mile days and willing to do more. I gotta keep uh, working on it without hurting myself and listening to my body. 60 right now, 67 was the most I've done. It's pretty good considering the hills. I reached the town of Johnsonburg where I take notice of the dump tar paper mill and the Clarion River. This river is a tributary of the Allegheny River, which eventually creates the Ohio River in Pittsburgh. The Clarion River is formed here in Johnsonburg by the confluences of its east and west branches. What a day. Phenomenal, but very challenging in so many different ways. Continuing on in the mix with the heavy truck and traffic on 219, I leave Johnsonburg behind with 10 miles to go before reaching Richway. By this time I was toast and needing to stop pedaling for the day. That was a struggle. Oh man, I've been really fortunate for a while having low grade downhills. But without a doubt, today was a, a tester of a day. It's gonna be 62 miles, or three. Still got three more to go, three and a half. Beautiful scenic road, except that you have to be okay with major truck traffic. I think it would be great to do on a Sunday where, when there's less traffic, but I don't mind the truckers, but I gotta say today, they're so close. 
that they get to you, the sound and the constant barrage of them blowing by you. They're going like, I think 65, 70 or so. I finally ride into Ridgeway as the trucks continue rocking by me. This town has extensive history as it was a major lumber camp around the 20th century boasting having had more millionaires per capita than any other town in the nation. This is apparently true as the town has enormous historical charm and the neighborhoods shine with a multitude of Victorian homes. I take a quick look around riding on Main Street before heading to an inn that was recommended to me by a convenience store clerk. I stayed here with uh, Tom and Lori. It's the Towers Inn in Richway, Pennsylvania. And uh, what a place. It's totally historic in there. Very nice and uh, very affordable. I uh, pretty much stopped at a convenience store at the end of my day yesterday after 63 or 60, 63 miles in that 219. Holy smokes, that was uh, busy. And uh, I just stopped at the convenience store and asked this kid like if, if there were any motels and he's like, yeah, you should stay at this uh, Towers Inn. He said that um, his mom used to work here. So I show up over here. I met Tom and Lori later and they just m made sure that I stayed. So I can't thank them enough and, uh, and uh, I'm ready to get going again. I got two rail trails and uh, a little bit of road riding to get to a uh, new Bethlehem and uh, see where I can stay over there. There's really no campgrounds anywhere here. Like I would have to go out of my way a lot. So it's gonna be inns. And if they're like this one, 100% um, game. I have no idea why I'm leaving. 50% chance of rain. I was like in the best of worlds of the inns. The Towers Inn, Richway, Pennsylvania. Wow. <laughs> I wish I wasn't so itchy to be on the road because I could have stayed all day there just doing work and hanging out. Lori made me a delicious breakfast and soon after we said goodbye. After filling up my water bottles and grabbing some snacks I ride to the Clarion Little Toby Creek Trailhead. This 18 mile long rail trail follows what was formerly the Richway and Clearfield Railroad and was used for the development of the coal industry during the latter 19th to mid 20th century. Off the 219 and on trails today. Should be a big, huge change of pace. Very welcomed in this uh, cloudy morning. Looks rainy, but not anything on the radar that I could see. So it might just be a cool day to cover some miles. This trail connects the towns of Ridgeway and Brockway and is inside the boundaries of the Allegheny National Forest running along the Clarion River. The natural beauty of Pennsylvania is greatly represented by these exceptionally well-maintained trails. They're also light and great and easily accessible providing me with a much needed break from busy 219. But soon enough I would face more steep hills to climb and even heavier truck and traffic. Mm -hmm. 